Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. Now this critical process died blue screen of your PC ran into a problem on Windows 10 or 11 can be because of the multiple reason. And in this quick video, I will be sharing and discussing all of the reason along with the solution so that you can quickly get rid of it. So what I'm expecting right now that you are on a blue screen only. So what you need to do, unplug all the devices, all kind of cable, all kind of power cable, any kind of external devices like USB or any kind of hard drive, unplug everything. Then you need to press and hold your power button, both on your PC or your laptop. Press and hold for like 25 seconds. Once it's been done, again, reconnect your charger, your battery, if you're in a laptop and connect your power cable and everything if you are on a PC and then start the computer again. So now once the computer comes in the normal mode, once you are on a desktop, the very first thing that I would recommend you that if you have joined the Windows inside a program, then you have to leave it. Now recently I had the same issue where I got a blue screen saying your PC ran into a problem and I found the solution that it was just because I joined the Windows inside a program which is basically to test many kind of features and many kind of application. All right, so what you can do, right click on the Windows icon, go to settings. From the left hand menu option, you have to click on Windows update. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom and you will find Windows inside a program. And it says get preview build of Windows 10 to share feedback on new features and update. So click on it. And if you have already joined the Windows inside a program, you will be getting an option of leave. If not, then you will be getting the option like get started. So you need to follow the instructions to leave the Windows inside a program and then you can check back if the problem has been fixed or not. And next, you also need to make sure that you have not uh, too much of a startup application while you're starting the computer or many kind of unwanted or malicious application. So what you can do from the left menu option only, you will have to click on apps, click on installed apps. And here you have to look for each and every application that you have currently installed or any application that you're not using anymore or any application that you don't identify. Look for the application, click on the three dot on the right of it and click on uninstall. And here what else I would recommend you that instead of uninstalling the application from here, kindly go with uninstaller like a Revo or a Vice uninstaller for which I have already created a video and uninstall the application completely from the registry and from the C drive. Once you are done, right click on the windows icon, click on task manager. Now here you have to assure that your CPU and the memory usage is not going beyond the 90%. So in case of the high memory and the CPU consumption also, you may get such kind of blue screen. And in order to reduce it, what else you can do? Click on the startup apps. On windows 10, you will be getting on the top. And here you look for any kind of third party application like Microsoft Edge. Make sure the status has not been enabled. Now, basically what happened, these third party application, once enabled, they all boot up along with your computer. They run in the background and create a problem. All right, so just right click on it, disable it, OneDrive, disable it. Any other kind of third party application like Discord, Steam, or any kind of third party application, you just need to do the same. Now, once you are done, you also need to make sure that your RAM is working properly. So what you can do, click on your Windows search, type memory. And in the suggestion, you will be getting Windows memory diagnostic. Click on it. Then you need to click on restart now and check for problem. It says save your work and close any program before you restart. So if you are working on any application on any kind of work, then kindly save it. Then you have to click on restart now. And then it will take you to this kind of page. Now here you have to press the F1 from the keyboard and it gives you test mix, extended or basic. Keep this to extended. Then you need to press the tab key from your keyboard. Press the tab key again. And in the pass count, by default, it will be selected to two and you need to make it to 15. Once you are done, press the F10 key again to apply. And now it will be running the memory test and it may take some time. So you will have to wait. And meanwhile, it will be running. You can check the status as it says no problem have been detected yet. All the tests may appear inactive at time. It is still running. Please wait until the testing is complete. All right. So once any kind of problem will be detected, it will be displayed in the status section. So just wait until it's all been done. All right. So the, finally, the scanning is being completed. And if there was any problem, it has been fixed. 
now keep in mind that this process will take a long time so if you want to skip it you can skip it as of now and you can run at the very last now next what you have to do a right click on the windows icon then you need to click on settings then click on system and scroll down to the bottom and you will find the recovery option click on recovery and then you'll find advanced startup click on restart now click on restart now again and the computer will be coming up in the advanced option and you will come to this kind of advanced option you will have to click on troubleshoot then click advanced option click command prompt and here we have to run few kind of commands so that if there is any problem with the integrity violation or with the os drive then it can be fixed so the first command will be sfc space forward slash scan now hit the enter key and the scanning will be started and it won't take much time so wait until it's all been done and once it will be completed you can see that it says windows resource protection found curve file and successfully repaired them all right so there was some problem which has been fixed now but additionally we also need to run the dism command so type the next command that will be dism space for a slash online space for a slash cleanup dash image space scan health all this command you will be getting in the description so just paste it and hit the enter key or you can manually type once it get completed the next command will be dism space for a slash online space for slash cleanup dash image space restore health so again this command will be running and it may take some time so you will have to wait and once this command get completed the next one will be boot rec space for slash fix boot in case if you get the access is denied then no worry you can proceed with the next command that will be boot se ct space for a slash nt number six number zero space sys again hit the enter key and it will say boot code was successfully updated on the targeted volume next will be boot rec space for a slash fix boot and it will say the operation completed successfully and the last command will be boot rec space for a slash rebuild bcd and it will be scanning all the disk for the windows installation and once it will be done it says the operation completed successfully and now you have to run a final command that will be chk dsk space c that is your operating system drive colon space for a slash f space for a slash r space for a slash x again hit the enter key now this will be scanning all the system file in the disk and this process again it will take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been done and once this command also get completed now you can close it and then you can click on continue and then you can check back if the issue has been fixed or not even you can run for like a day or two and see that if everything is working smoothly or not but in case still if you have the problem then again you have to come to the same page then you have to click on troubleshoot and here click advanced option and you can try the system restore option now what i'm expecting that probably you have done something wrong in last few days and due to which only you are having the problem so what you can do you can restore the computer to an earlier date when the computer was working fine you can try that option it's very simple to follow the steps and once you restore the computer back to that particular date i'm very sure that none of the problem will be occurring again but in case if you have not created any restore point or the restore point doesn't work then you have to go back again and then finally you have to try the reset this pc option you can click on it and here it says keep my file so if you don't want to delete anything then you have to go with keep my file option and this will be resetting your pc so these are the best solution that you can apply in order to fix this kind of problem and that's all guys for today hopefully this solution will work for you let us know in the comment section that which method work and if you have any question or any kind of problem then let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye